hello everyone welcome to my channel asp.net core today i'm going to show you the next uh, video tutorial of online examination system and in this project i'm going to add a new class uh, class library project uh, that class library project is used for your view models so just uh, take a name uh, of that project is online exam uh, examination dot view models okay and uh, in this uh, in this uh, project i'm going to add some view models on the basis of the view models, I will uh, design some uh, uh, UIs and uh, you can say that that, uh, use, that view models is used for converting the models to the view models and view models convert to the, uh, you can say that mapping view models to models and models to view models that uh, that uh, project is used for. Okay, so the first task uh, in this project uh, is to add a project folder of the model folder. So the first class is a user view model in a user view model you know that uh, the old model property is there with the proper uh, validation controls so user we have some properties like id name username and uh, like that uh, passwords and the role you know that okay so uh, the id property is by default the key property so there is a no need to require it because there is a no need to add some initially. So just uh, use data notations for the required field for the name property. Also uh, use display name property, uh, but in the user view model, the name and the display name is the same. Okay, so in the user name, you can see that uh, in the property name, user name, both are uh, camel uh, notations, uh, uppercase letter, the first in the um, joint name is uppercase letter, but in the display name, we have uh, take some space, okay, between the user and the name. Uh, similarly, uh, there is a no need to the uh, display property for the passwords because the password property is looking like that simple and sweet, okay and but required is mandatory that's fine and uh, i will take it uh, some actions on the user view model in the further videos and also i will design it uh, the ui pattern for the user view model also in the later video tutorials okay so in the constructor you can see that a public user view model uh, i have a one constructor with the one single parameter that is the user model users model so in that param parameter, just I want to uh, when uh, you call user view model that uh, in that uh, constructor, we will pass the models. Okay, so ID that model ID is converted to the uh, ID property because a user view model is assigned with the models. So that uh, parameter that is the user uh, that uh, that parameter, I mean to say that model parameter is assigned to the user view models. Similarly, okay, if it is model dot name is nullable, then uh, simply pass the null values in the uh, name and the username model dot username model dot passwords and model dot role. Similarly, similarly, you have to uh, use for the con convertible model. So convert uh, view model to model also uh, there. So users and return the users. Okay, so a uh, user view model VM equals to that is the method name you can say a written new users and in which you can uh, add the same properties uh, the id name username password and roles so just copy that and paste in the uh, convert view model method so just copy that oops not cut only uh, copy and paste it here so you can check that vm uh, here just convertible so vm.id is passed to the model id uh, vm.name is passed to the name vm.username uh, is passed to the username pass, passwords and the roles similarly so uh, that uh, is the pretty thing uh, pretty simple thing here you can see um, just convert that uh, convert view model to model and model to view model okay So it's I think it's a uh, cool thing uh, to add a view model folder a view model project uh, in your solution to converting uh, model to view model and view model to model vice versa also you can say so uh, the second uh, class that is the student view model 
and the modal properties these are id name username password contact cv file name and similarly cv file name picture file name groups id and the groups so groups uh, class is not used at here that is not required actually in the view models so only the uh, these properties are required so just remove the groups uh, from here and uh, use required and display properties okay so a student view model the name property will display a student name you can uh, you can see in the video okay uh, and the username similarly user and the name in between you can take a space and uh, similar password is the good contact is good contact number you can say so username required and uh, password is required and the contact number is required username similarly in the um, contact oops uh, not there it's a required contact number you uh, you you have to display in the dis uh, display annotations cv file name is the only cv you can say in the display property uh, not required attribute picture file name groups id and the groups just removed from here okay yeah and uh, also the groups id property is make as in label okay now the uh, other property you also take it in the uh, view model because i i will take it uh, just like a browse button so i form file is must to required so install package microsoft aspnet core dot http uh, that package is required to implement i form file and i form file is used to show the browse button where you, you pick up the file from uh, your computer your hard drive you can say so i form file picture file and also cv file that's fine and the next thing you have to add total count the total number of student in the list you can say and oops and the list of uh, also you can show the list of students so student view model and student list that is and another uh, constructor uh, similarly in the user view model you have to add a new constructor a student view model in in that uh, constructor you have to pass a model for a students model and just uh, that properties uh, is a model assigned to the view models so id property model dot uh, id similarly name property is assigned model dot name is nullable type also you can use empty and uh, username model dot username okay passwords model dot passwords and uh, contact so model dot contact picture file name cv file name model dot cv file name okay and the picture file name model dot picture file name make also in a label and groups id property oops groups id is there groups id is model dot groups id okay so uh, the another uh, thing you have to add that is the convertible model where your uh, view model is convert into the view uh, into the model so just add um, public uh, where return your students so uh, public students convert view model oops convert view model and in which you can pass view model first of all so student view model vm 
and uh, written new students and here you can pass similar uh, that a copy uh, from above where from your student view model uh, constructor so just copy that and paste it here similarly uh, looking uh, in the previous for the users view model so just id model dot id so just replace it model uh, with the vm vm Okay, so also you have to use semicolon just after closing your uh, single objects. So uh, actually error in the groups ID property is uh, it's a makes a nullable type in the um, in the view model, but in the model folder we have not make a nullable. So just open your model again in the data access layer and makes as a nullable in the groups ID property of the students model and uh, and make groups id as a nullable thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all others